Okay, so hey guys, and welcome back to another predictions video. And in today's video, I'm going to be predicting the Burns versus Lemons fight. If you're on your round here though and you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like if you need like there, and let's get straight into it. So, going into this fight, Burns is a uh, 44, 8, and 1 with 16 KOs, and Lemon is 42 and 5 with 13 KOs. This fight is a 12 round fight in the welterweight division. Burns is as far as a win via unanimous decision versus Dominguez in 2021, and Lemon is as far as a win via TKO in round three versus Wood over a year ago. Lemon is 44 and Burns is 40. Burns' losses have come against Selby in 2019, Crawler in 2017, Indongo in 2017, Figueroa Jr. in 2015, Salad Tizin at Zanin. In 2014, Crawford in 2014, Johannes Son in 2007, and Arthur in 2006. He's been fighting since, well, professionally since 2001. Lemon's losses have come against Nurse in 2016, Crawler in 2011, Marias in 2010, Khan in 20, uh, 2007, Arthur in 2003, and he's been fighting professionally since 1999. Burns is the former WBA World Super Lightweight, World uh, WBA World Lightweight and WBO World Super Featherweight Champion, and the first and only ever Scottish person to have won three world titles in three different weight categories. And just before we kind of speak about them more as a fighter, I mean just this fight in general. It's a it's a good contest. I like a lot about. How this isn't an exhibition fight obviously it's one of them fights where it's two older guys fighting each other for the legacy maybe arguably a bit for the money as well but it's nice that it's not an exhibition it's going to count on the record they don't really care if it does count on the record because it's a big fight for scottish boxing it's a very big fight and it's one which i'm going to want to see the whole of scotland get behind that's something which i'm really going to want to see and hope i do see and i mean of course they're both in their older years but I think something about them both as a fighter they've both always throughout their career been underestimated and I mean Burns especially he's achieved so much from the fact of even though he's been underestimated like early on in his career when he was fighting British level he wasn't always finding the most success he got some of his losses early on against Arthur against Khan and it wasn't always kind of looking the best for him well it was Arthur especially when he lost that early on but he managed to, he's managed to come back, managed to get win world titles. And same with Lemon, to be fair. There's been fights where, there's been quite a few fights where he's just not looked like he's going to win it, but then still managed to win it. And he's been the underdog on paper quite a lot of times and still managed to be the British and Commonwealth and European champion as well. And so this is why this is such a, a huge fight for just the history of Scottish boxing. And I mean, Burns for such a long time was this face of Scottish boxing and one which kind of was underestimated by boxing in general I mean they didn't have he didn't have this big kind of following and this well he did have this big following in the end but he didn't have this big come up and this big backing and everybody with him from the get-go he built it up himself and he's always built it all from himself and that's something I really respect and something which I really like is him as a fighter and Lemond as well it's the same kind of thing and it's nice to see this fight happening to be honest it's surprising that it's not happened in general sooner earlier on in their career when they were younger but obviously it didn't but now it's happening now and it's a fight which maybe on paper you don't want to look too deep into the fighters kind of attributes and stuff like that because they've not been that active as of recent and they're older and stuff like that and it might not be the best of fights but just for the legacy that they both have in the sport it's one which I'm excited for personally and one which definitely I believe Scottish fans should be excited for as well but I mean I just said that let's talk about a little bit more about the fighters obviously not looking too deep into it Burns he's aggressive he's got a good shot selection he definitely has that old-fashioned style he pushes the pace he can be a front or back foot type fighter. He's got a very good chin. He's good at long range or in close. He wins by any means possible. Got good combinations, can outbox. He will come back in fights and kind of gain momentum throughout and 
be able to flip momentum as well in the process and he can like I said bring a bring a comeback and knows how to dominate under pressure as well and when I say under pressure I mean when the odds are stacked against him and I suppose maybe at that point he's not got the pressure but when the odds are stacked against him and everybody's expecting him to lose to be able to dominate and put on really good boxing performances as well and outbox fighters and I do just like how he has this old-fashioned style which is just good enough to be able to win fights because people are just trying to do too much and against him you can't do too much you have to stick to the fundamentals and be able to be amazing at them fundamentals otherwise he will find you out and that's nice to see and the fact he does have a good chin yes he's been dropped yes he's been stopped but he's been dropped against some really tough guys and managed to get up a lot of times and it is very impressive and maybe with age that goes away and that fades a bit but some of the fights he's had there has been big fights and big moments but he's managed to kind of come back from them and still look very dominant as well and that's something that's very good the fact that he can come back in the later rounds where maybe he is getting battered to be honest and maybe he is losing very convincingly and then be able to put on a good fight and maybe not win all the time but still be able to put on a good display in the later rounds he's arguably a bit reckless at times he can sprint in a little bit can be outboxed in his own right opens counters at times not a huge puncher that was something that was talked quite a lot about when he was in the prime of his career he struggles under pressure a bit he's been hurt he's not overly athletic he does lose rounds especially early on he does get caught and he does struggle early like i mentioned and so there's definitely things there which isn't perfect but i don't think either of these fighters are perfect and i don't think that's what matters to be fair with this fight and i think this is just going to be a good fun fight but let's speak about lemon as a fighter he's a he's a counter puncher he's can be on the front or the back foot as well got a good defense good movement he's tough he can outbox he's got good combinations a high guard quite composed quite patient and i like how he can and does show good movement good combinations that always is key as well and in his prime i mean he had some fights where he was just rocking fighters from the back foot and not loads of fighters can really do it as well as he did it and with the movement was very good at the time and if he can possibly still show that i'm not entirely sure but when he was doing it it was very impressive of course he is the older fighter by that extra four years as well so you know i don't know if that's going to play any bit of a factor i would arguably say lemon's been more hurt in some of his fights but you know he's he's managed to come back maybe not got as good of a chin he does invite pressure he's not overly fast he does kind of deplete a bit throughout he's not overly aggressive he's struggled against the best i mean he's had them more losses on his record i'm um lemons i i believe i'm right with that might be wrong but um i would say he has struggled against the top level guys to really push on because i mean like i said he's he's got to that british that european level but never got to that world level and so it's something that he's been missing a bit he's not a huge puncher either so i don't know if this is going to be if you're tuning in to find some next spectacular knockout don't know if that's going to be the case but you know either way it's still going to be a good fight burns is the favorite for this fight though and i think that burns will win via tko in round seven i think burns will turn it up in the later rounds Lemond won't be quite as what he used to be or even in general i think he will just struggle in the later rounds and I think Burns will find success and manage to be able to get a late stoppage. I don't think it'll be devastating. Um, I hope it's not. I hope they both kind of come out there good, all in good nick and everything like that. And I think it, it will just be too much. And it wouldn't surprise me if the corner throw in the towel or something like that. But it's a good, fun, entertaining fight. Not an exhibition, which I like to see with these ones. And actually matters to an extent. And... Uh, one which I'm excited for. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Like if you didn't need like this, subscribe if you're new and thanks for watching.